So we need to make flaps for the neck and I'm just using this cheap plastic um, platter. And I'm just gonna get a paper towel and I measure it to my neck so y'all aren't gonna see this part. I need it about, about that length. It's okay for it to be jaggedy and it's okay for it to be a little longer because we can trim it. Okay, now I'm gonna do, I'm pretty much just gonna work with my fingers. And I'll pour some over here. Be really careful not to spill that because that is a terrible experience to have to clean up. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go over it and let um, three or four times and let it dry. Probably even more than that, so I have a nice, strong um, prosthetic. Okay, so I've built up my prosthetic pieces that I need, and um, I'm just gonna, I covered them with some baby powder, but I'm gonna cover them with a little bit more um, so when I peel it up, it keeps it from, uh, it makes it easier to pull up as well as keeping it from sticking to itself. And as I peel it up, I'll kind of brush some of the powder under there. But I'm doing this with one hand, so I'll show you the result after I get it all pulled up. You just got to find a good area to lift it up from. Here it is so far. This is going to be the back part. And you can kind of a little bit see the paper towel, but it's been pretty well covered in the latex. Now I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to trim around it to make it uh, the right size and um, to just clean it up a little bit. Okay, now I got them trimmed up. I think I'm actually going to trim this one just a little bit more. And um, then I'm going to put some holes in it, about four on each side for the lacing up of the ribbon. All right, so I have my flaps right here. This would be the top part, and this is the bottom part. I think I want to put a belt right there. So I just need to get. liquid latex out and my neck is clean so I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit this is gonna serve as my adhesive and then where I put the slits for the ribbon that's gonna be towards the top pointing upwards. Then I just pour more latex to start smoothing it out to blend it into itself. Then I take the other piece, and that's going to be about right here with the 
where I put the slits kind of facing downward like that. use this to kind of push it through and then lace it up. I had to do a little improvising because one of my cuts ripped all the way open, so it's just gonna have to be a, a messy, little messier. Okay. Okay, so there's my, my bow. And now I'm gonna use makeup to blend it. And since this part is so much lighter than my natural skin, I'm using a slightly darker foundation on this part than I will on my skin. I'll blend it out into it. And now I'm gonna go in with some of my scab blood, which is my favorite kind of blood, and very carefully go under the ribbon with it This is a rush job because it's it's a work night, but I'm trying my best, so we'll see. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with some of this these bruise wheel colors. I'm gonna take some of this red and just because I want a dark base for that bright arterial spurt blood. Okay, I got some Maron blood splatter. Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's very bright though. I love this stuff, Eric. Watch. Watch, guys. Watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? It's pretty good. It would, like, because if you had your throat cut, it would spurt um, a little upwards because of your heart beating. If you're running and your heart beating, it's yeah, going to just, it's going to go. That's usually what happens. I watched Dexter. I think. It's almost time to rewatch Dexter. Huh? I mean, that's usually what happens. I don't know if you've ever, like, it depends on what angle the knife comes in. If you stab him, never mind. Probably revealing too much if right now. If you um, ever run into someone who has a weapon lodged in their carotid, do not pull it out. Leave it in place. Call 911 or have someone else call 911 and apply pressure without removing the thing. It's a bad idea. If it's carotid, they should probably take a look at it anyway. It's rotted. Okay, so this is the look. Now, see, a lot of FX artists don't like to use too much blood to cover up mistakes. And I think I'm sort of like the Bob Ross of this type of thing. There are no mistakes. They're happy accidents. <laughs> right, Eric? You need to get an afro. Yeah. These are happy accidents. A white fro. So I'm all... <laughs> I'm all, um, I'm happy with it. This one was fun. Huh? A permanent. 
this was fun for um, something I just kind of decided to do on a work night. Remember when white guys used to get permanents? My dad had one. <laughs> <laughs> like the neighbor on that 70s show. What's that guy's name? Bob. <laughs> Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah. And I remember the lady who did his permanent. Her name was Peppy. Peppy. You know, Peppy. So. I should just go get a permanent. <laughs> but there, you have no hair. But, I mean, I'll grow it out. And I'll have like a... <laughs> Like that uh, Pokemon uh, seal with that afro around the side. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this is it. I think it's pretty wickedly good for something on a work night. So fun. Yeah, fun stuff. I could probably do better if I was uh, didn't have to go to bed soon. But this stuff takes a really long time to get off. So. And I always end up going to work with red on me. And they're like, you've got red on you. No, so. they don't. Yeah, they do. If only they were that cool. They weren't that, they're not, they don't say that. They're like, how did you pour Kool-Aid on yourself? <laughs> they don't know nothing about Sean of the like, Dead. No, I've got red on me. All right. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and stuff. Um, and, all that stuff down below. Yeah, and check out um, Eric's channel, Eric's Guitar Corner. Yeah, I'll link it, click on it down below. Down below stuff. Um, <laughs> thanks so much. I'll talk to all of you later. Bye. Look at my bloody hands, Eric. Mm -hmm. Good job. I could squirt some blood on you while you do it. Oh, you want to? Yeah. Here. That would be fun. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to rip it. Oh, it's going to start on this side. So do you want to come over here? And Well, if you're right there, they're going to see you. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's like a whole obstacle course. Well, you, you can <laughs> just get over there. It's okay. There's a place to put my foot. There. I got a place for you to put your foot. Okay. All right. <laughs> here. Can you? Right there. Okay. How's it? How's that? <laughs> Oh, look. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> oh. There's my throat bit. I like this, though. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? I mean, is that just wash off? I assume. Um, it would be fun if it was like spray paint. Like you could paint it on. It's like sugar water, basically.